<laughs> She's with Kathy. Hi. Oh, Welcome to the Kitchen hey, Kathy. I'm Kathy Mitchell. Now, you've probably seen what me in a lot of kitchens. Oh, I have. I have. What dump cake do you have for <laughs> us today? A hippo butt pie. <laughs> Microcrisp. This is going to change the way you cook with your microwave forever. Wait, is this cooking well, with a microwave? So let's take a yes. say that, did she? First of all, yes. I have two rolls of my Get yourself a good sharp pair of scissors because I use these for everything from trimming up, uh, trimming the fat off of meat and snipping bacon to cutting up little pieces of vegetables. Why do you trim the fat off of meat? Down the sides. And at the end of the day, they can go right in the dish. It's not going to help. By the way, because she puts them in a large barrel, and then at the end of the month, she eats it. I'm sorry. Because that's, that's her cheat. She saves it for her cheat day. To boil that water in three minutes takes a power of 80%. And I know that that's the setting I'm going to use every time I follow one of the recipes in the cookbook. Now, if you have an older microwave that's maybe less than... It's ridiculous to have cookbook recipes on microwave stuff. So that you can use the recipes in your microwave as well. It just sounds stupid to me. Let's cook this whole meal in the microwave. Now there are a number of different types of wraps. Warm wrap something up for a minute. Microwave. Fine. First one, microwave. What, what country okay. are we in? Uh, uh, sorry, meat. fine. Well, that's two oh, dumb right. comments I made tonight. <laughs> 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 we are America. I forgot this is what we do. Now this is your microwave. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it on the microwave. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it on the microwave. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it on the microwave. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it on the microwave. Now you're going to take this and you're going to put it on the microwave. And then we put it in a radiation machine. And, oh, don't forget the tape. Put it on a plastic rack. And then we tie by the time we're finished. <laughs> now this looks like it's... I, do you want to guess the year? Yes, I've always been wrong. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess 1990. That's a good guess. I always lunch. guess earlier week, because these infomercials <laughs> seem to be uh, oh, yes. so behind in the times. Nice yeah. So I'm going to go very and aggressive and say 92, even this though I'm getting 88. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, yes. It's, it's around the 80s background, but usually it's a little okay. bit later. Yes, I'll laugh if this is 1998. Have you ever seen Micro Chris? Oh, all of the time. I have micro crisp in my house right now. We still have microwaves, so why isn't this a thing? Go ahead and trim it away. You know, as a kid, I always thought that they must get potato skins from what people left on their plates after they ate dinner, but I guess that's probably not true. Boy. Alright. Now we have casserole here. And all I'm gonna do. Well, so we're Stephen. buying products from you after that comment, Kathy. I wonder how many other comments she makes that we don't know about. <laughs> These are actually a lot better because it's got a lot more body to them than just the skin. Oh, you've got body, <laughs> Kathy. Yeah, not a body I really want to see, though. <laughs> The whole margarine! Oh, that's great! You know what margarine is? It's almost plastic. <laughs> it is so close to being plastic, and I ate that for years, and I really regret it. Now, potato skins wouldn't be potato skins without a little crumbled bacon. So let me show you a fast, easy way to make that crumbled bacon in your with microwave. With the microwave. What I do is I take a little pie plate and line it with a paper towel. That catches the drips, and this is just a little colander. Set it right in there. Now, I use my scissors what, to What, no the micro bacon. crisp? <laughs> I guess not. What I do is go right along like this, depending on how much you need. I use this when I make fried rice. But I want to use micro crisp. <laughs> No! Use the micro grid. Yeah, the micro grid. Oh, turn it off. I'm disgusted. I want to use micro grid. I want to hear. I want to hear more food fairy tales. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm happy again. <laughs> Well, I'm glad because this is a bigger piece of micro. <laughs> now that's a man size piece of micro. Now, 
You know, sometimes when I'm feeling sad, I go and I open up a fresh roll of micro crisp. It puts me in a good mood. It really does. It brightens my day. Well, I'm glad. Because of potato skins, hearing what she just said puts that puts me in a good mood. Oh yeah. So, you know, some, some things are a simple joy in life. <laughs> I'm just so glad she informed me about the potato skins, because now I can see it better. It was such a wonderful story. People ask me, you know, what are you thankful for in your life? And I say, I'm thankful for a sheet of micro crisp. I actually uh, wallpaper my bedroom in micro crisp. <laughs> Oh, wow. And when I'm feeling creative, now, this may not be the I make a micro crisp art. Oh, oh, I cut micro crisp and origami. <laughs> <laughs> micro crisp gami. <laughs> you know, teachers can be so mean sometimes. I would write my homework on sheets of micro crisps. <laughs> And a teacher yelled at me <laughs> and gave me a zero. Did you order that micro crisp apron as well? I did. I have ten of them. But I want to make it a, a full dozen. These are terrific for a snack or an appetizer. Or with a salad, you've got a super light dinner. Now what really makes me happy is her cookbook. That's what I wanted for Christmas. I actually gave the Nintendo away. And I got it. Oh, oh, I would. You don't let those boops and bleeps. <laughs> yeah. Like my mother fixed this. And those the plumber guys jumping around. Yeah, you, you want a micro crisp. I want the microwave cookbook. That's what I want. Because setting a microwave is really hard. Mm -hmm. There's so many buttons. <laughs> Even opening up the door. I mean, that is, I mean, that is. It takes strength. Sometimes I screw up my bed. <laughs> yes, opening up the door. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if it was the, uh, the, the Did you hear that? She used a paper airplane. <laughs> did she say that? She did. <laughs> that apron? I'm sorry, it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> what about her fake plant? <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. I bet it was a Mother's Day gift. That looks as good as one that ever came out. Yeah, it, uh, her son Sheridan gave that to her. <laughs> doesn't that look great? He went to Walmart and he spent awesome. an hour trying to decide what he was going to give his mother for Mother's Day. <laughs> he got it comes out, out. Yeah, he comes out with the fake plant. <laughs> oh, the oh. well, I see she got really mad at Bo because there's his dick. <laughs> no, that might be too too big for him. That's somebody else. That's not by Gandhi. That's big. I got mine stuck in the orange. <laughs> It's Steve Bryan. What Brian. is she do? Oh, yes. <laughs> He's singing a song about it. <laughs> is 20 minutes really that big of a deal? It is to her. Do you know that every year she goes to a... Uh, to a manufacturing company and instead of mining the land for chemicals, they just go into her body. Oh, wow. And they pull out, yeah, like they need cobalt to make electronics. Yeah. They just, Kathy goes in every month and they mine the cobalt out of her. Wow. Yeah. Oh, what a, what a job. And you know the formaldehyde that they use? Yes. They, they get that from her too. Cinnamon. It's I just easier. Though. These are dynamite with fresh peaches. And these are so much better for the kids than the stuff you buy at the store. So much of that has a lot of uh, chemicals and preservatives in it. I just like the fact she that just nice got the dough shape. from a can. <laughs> that, I was about to ask that. Did she get that dough from a can? Yeah, from the it's a, like the Pillsbury it's thing. Yeah, those are, yeah, oh yeah, no, those are free from chemicals. Well, 
Let me tell ya. And then just lying a little apple. Just ask the Pillsbury Dough Boys. Now this is the two we're going to talk about. Loaded a little too. Yeah, loaded with chemicals. I should made Steve Bryant's dick. Smells like apple pie, and I didn't even have to bake. It's a great way to make your family cook. You've been cooking all day. Now let's take a look at these. Oh, yes, let's look at your cheaply made chemical oh, dough apple right. crisps. Oh, She's been cooking all day tonight, though. Stand right alongside a bowl of vanilla ice cream, and they'll think you baked all day. Apple surprise. What's the surprise? Cancer okay. in 30 years? That's what I was going to say, because that, that, the, 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 the surprise is in the dough. <laughs> or the call from the doctor. <laughs> well, that is not a surprise. The doctor's expecting that. He'll just, he'll just have to wait a little while. But boy, is he excited when he finds that tumor. <laughs> <laughs> he sees the dollar signs. Oh, he sees eyes. the dollar signs. And go ahead and place four of them right in the middle there. Don't forget the wrapping, Kathy. <laughs> oh, she's getting to that. That's her favorite part. Use the tape. I, I'll tell you, she was probably so excited to invent this. <laughs> What's the story of that? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, who would come up with something so <laughs> stupid like that? I mean, this is okay, worse than a Pope Peel idea. I'm sure she wraps her kids' Christmas <laughs> gifts in micro crisps. <laughs> ah, those are beautiful. The, the, the <laughs> other end is up, though. It's all silver when they go Oh, that's <laughs> elegant. <laughs> oh, these are delicious. This is such a all right, Kathy. Well, now we know who's going to be eating all of that. You know what? I think I might know how she came up with it. She she knows her clientele are morons. So she was like, how can I fool them? Oh, I know. Let's do micro crisp, and I'll make a microwave cook cookbook because most Americans are obese and morons. That's what it is. Did you see? I was right. Simple to elegant. <laughs> I'm disappointed, Kathy. I wanted to see your uh, usual dump dinner. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. You start anything, dump. anything you make in a microwave is a dump dinner. So like I said, warming it up is one thing, but actually cooking a meal in the microwave. Who would do it? I'm not asking that. Cause I know, why I does she have the pan out? This doesn't take very long. If you're actually going to cook, Kathy, why not just cook? Little, you want to lightly saute those on either side, with maybe just a little bit of seasoning. <laughs> a little, a little bit. bit. And she's dumping the salt <laughs> on it. It smells wonderful. I don't know about that, Kathy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and put those over now. Well, we have to take her word for it. <laughs> we do? Yeah. We'll give those just about she's... another minute, and they should be ready to go. It could smell like a dumpster. Okay, now we just want to roll this out just a little bit larger. And, and, and I mean and an Applebee's dumpster. An Applebee's dumpster. Oh, that's, that's a, a dumpster. stinky dumpster. Right, this is just some cream cheese that I've come from your belly. Little, uh, sweet hot oh, mustard. God. And we're just going to go ahead and spread that right in the center of each of those squares. It did. It did come her from her belly. Oh, that's so bad. What, does she have like a suction <laughs> thing in her house that she just sucks stuff out? She actually takes the vacuum and runs and it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so it just blows it all out. Well, well talk about a dump cake. <laughs> Kathy, okay, you don't have any time. You're busy doing great inventions. <laughs> Micro crisp was a doozy. How do you know it's a guy? Don't be afraid to stretch that dough and work with it a little bit. Don't be afraid of that water. Yeah, it looks, it looks more like a lady. <laughs> Because he kind of got the lips okay. there. I see. I see. And I'm going to 
I try to watch the sugar in my family's diet a little bit. No, oh, you don't. No, she, she does. No, she does. She... Now, these are just some fresh pieces <laughs> I sliced up. And she's putting on gummy cans. <laughs> Those are. Look at them! Oh, what? Are you kidding me? What did she just add? She just added I want to say that was sugar. Yeah, these are a lot less expensive than the ones you buy and you can buy a lot more control over what goes Did she just say she had to wash her sugar? Yeah. Now she puts sugar in fruit. Wait, is that canned fruit or is that corn? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, no, I could have sworn that she said that that was fresh fruit. That is not fresh fruit. It is not. That came from a can. Who are who is she trying to fool? Oh, I forgot who we're climbing. Go right. <laughs> That is that's not fresh. fresh. That's fresh from a can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, Remember he said that the last time? Oh, I forgot about that, yes. And he said it to Sorry. Kathy, too. <laughs> so now she thinks she can yeah. fool everybody. And, I mean, and, and, but the canned fruit is loaded with sugar. And what did she do? She loaded oh, it with right, even more sugar. Oh, right, because I forgot about that, because it's in, in syrup. Yeah. Yes. So she's watching her family's sugar, and then look what she did. <laughs> she just... And then she adds more. And then she adds more. What is she, Emerald? <laughs> no, she must be, because I'm sure she she's shaking too. Real magic of cooking meat. I didn't know it was magic. Do you believe in magic? Oh, of course. If Kathy Mitchell says it's magical, it must be true. Let me show you a fast way to cook this chicken in around six minutes. Now, I cook meat. I start with a pie pan and line it with a paper towel. That'll catch any of the drips. I don't like this again. I want the micro crisp. Oh, there you yes. go. Over the rack. There you go. Yes. I'm happy again. I'm going to little holes in the micro crisp. Now, here's a little trick I discovered. I took one of my old wooden spoons, sharpened it in a pencil sharpener. Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> oh, oh, this is violent. You don't need a lot of them. Just right in the center. Now, this is a She's ruining her creation. <laughs> and place it on the micro crisp. Now we're going to go ahead and use the basic wrap. Just fold one end up over the other. And secure what did she use on their powdered toenails? Oh! Oh! That looks terrific. Now you can see it's wonderful and Does juicy. It? It's perfectly done. And all the fat it looks like a piece of away. rubber. <laughs> it does. He wasn't sitting in its own fat while it was cooking. And there's our disposable oven. Not much cleanup there. And it was all done in under 10 minutes. Now we'll just add a light dressing. Fast, healthy meal. I'm sure that dressing is crap, too. I think it's okay, a you know, crack. I think we all know we should probably eat more oh, fish. Oh, perfect. Frankly, until I found micro crisp, I just didn't What like I said it. was not far it's off. Nice and fast and easy and there's Actually, I think you're, you're better off eating your own crap than you are eating crap. I started the pie pan, lined it with a paper towel, and set my micro crisp rack in there. Now oh, she off, always she gets me with that. And for the salmon steak, I'm going to spray it. When she doesn't the start with the micro crisp, I start to get nervous. Oh, oh, I don't like this part. <laughs> Once again, she's breaking your wonderful creation. Now, lay on that salmon steak. Oh, now the salmon is ruined. Yeah, I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of fresh lemon over it. Oh, that's going to help. This is a wonderful salt free seasoning that I use a lot for fish. Oh, probably this sodium nitrate. This is dead. <laughs> Now what this is just some zucchini and some yellow squash, and we can steam those right along with that the fish. The styrofoam pieces. And now I'm just going to add a little parsley. From a can. <laughs> now if you're thinking what I'm thinking, it looks like I shortchanged myself a little bit on the uh, micro crisp here. But that's where those little pieces we've been saving are going to come in handy. I think this guy is just oh, about right. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at let's clap for Kathy. <laughs> That's <laughs> impressive. Now a little bit of tape. She's a genius. <laughs> Absolutely. Our secret.
That piece of fish was about an inch thick, so that's going to bake for about seven minutes. Oh my god, she completely ruined a big piece of salmon. <laughs> she had the right idea of buying the salmon. Okay, a nice, juicy, wonderful piece of fish, which I would love to eat, and now I want no part of it. And that's going to need about four minutes to cook. Only Kathy could screw that up. And then put okay, crap on it, it. styrofoam. I'm just going to drain it off. <laughs> With her micro crisp. <laughs> and back into the pan. Now there's our fish. Oh. Luckily we're not in a regular oven, so it's okay to just let it sit there for a couple oh of seconds. Oh my god. I'm going to add about two tablespoons Putting of fish in an oven is not a big deal. And a little parsley. <laughs> this is not a big Sometimes. deal. And just Here's the cans. Them. Put mine on a broil pan. Oh, she ruined <laughs> it. This is what salt she put in? Was that salt or sugar? Or both? Enough, I guess. Very low fat, very low calorie. Delicious. Now we're going to have to get some wonderful side dish with fish. Now all you need to do, out of there, is garnish that with just a little bit of Parmesan. Look at that though, it's the crappy Parmesan in there. I mean, there is a lot more to worry about here than fat. It's your Parmesan's fake cheese, that's the problem. Well, that would happen after you cook it, Kathy. Oh, that looks wonderful. No, it doesn't. Now, I hope you've heard of your Miracle Blade by now because uh, this is the best knife I've ever used in my kitchen. Oh, is it a pupil knife? I'm just going to cut this up into some cubes. No, it isn't, so it's not good. <laughs> well, it looks like it's cutting better than your knives there, Ron. And if you want to turn them off, turn, turn off the cow. Oh, turn it off. He's calling the network on. right now. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to go through all of this for you here because I've got some I already See, used. now that so goes in her bucket. A lot of great well, I see. You want to be sure and use uh, bamboo skewers because you can't put metal in the microwave. Oh, thanks for clearing that sugar. up. Got some cherry tomatoes. I was kind of hoping she was going to put metal in her microwave. Okay. That's why we're getting the disturbed. <laughs> you know what? The metal is probably better than the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Oh, more, more radiation <laughs> distortion. See, this is caused because she uses the microwave too much. I mean, you think the tape is, is damaged. <laughs> Her organs are screaming. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they are. One takes about three minutes. Two will cook in about four and so on. You'll find all of these times in your cookbook, so you can refer to that. Oh, you're yes, sure. that's a good read. It, it, they, I, when I have trouble I sleeping, I read the Micro Crisp cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't read okay, it to go to sleep. I read it for entertainment. Oh, because it can't get excited. Yeah, that's <laughs> happened to me because <laughs> I won't want to calm down. But then I get so excited. <laughs> It and then is, I can't go to bed. It, it is incredibly it's exciting cooking in a microwave. Mm -hmm. Especially when you get to the climax. <laughs> she brings out the ingredients. Yeah. And you're like, but there's no micro crisp yet. <laughs> yeah. And no, then I'm, she brings it out and it's a joyous occasion. <laughs> well, see, I'm glad you find the micro crisp, crisp exciting because I, I think it's a problem. You have to wrap it and then you oh, have to cut it. <laughs> for me. <laughs> it's a delight. Well, I, I turned into oh, Richard so Lewis when I, when I get to that point. What I'm seeing is a <laughs> When I get to the micro crisp, <laughs> my hair goes all over the place. Well, there you have it, from refrigerator to the table. <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> and it just becomes a stressful thing to do. Because <laughs> then I'm worried that I get it to the right length. Dish to go along with the heartier meats like these barbecued ribs. That's why I did say the barbecued ribs in the microwave. Now, oh, I heard ya. <laughs> <good life. laughs> and a cup of lard. Now, I would love to know it's in that poultry butter, seasoning. Leave it out because it cuts the fat on the dish a little bit. Think what it's is it with you and cutting the fat? Do you realize that the stuff you're using is worse than fat?
And look at her. Now that was cooked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now you need a good size sheet of the micro crisp. Because we're cooking a lot of ribs here. That ought to do it. Ribs yeah, she is a magician because I, she can just do. She doesn't have to measure. She does that by eye. Oh, and she knows how much. Right. Well, she has four of those eyes, so of course it's easy for her to see that. These and a bit of sauce. She has those sexy glasses. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now I like to kind of put them on in a little square so they cook a little evenly. This just doesn't look right. And Barbecue ribs in the microwave. Now remember, it's real important when you're cooking meat that the micro crisp be touching. A smoker, yes. An That's oven, right. yes. Because Even a crock pot, yes. But a microwave? And I press it against the meat and use a little piece of tape to secure it. Now, the pie plate these are in is going to become the lid of the casserole dish, and that whole thing's going to cook in just 15 minutes. How? This can't I don't be think good. You can the coals in the barbecue in 15 minutes. Ribs take about 10 hours in the smoker. I don't know how long they take in an oven. I've never tried them. I'd like to. Oh, oh, what do you think? Aren't those beautiful? No! Look, they're juicy and brown, just like they came off the barbecue. I doubt it. Those look rubbery. They're probably not. I would have to feed it to Gordon Ramsay. Oh, my God! Where's the bathroom? <laughs> oh, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that when he actually, when he actually cubed, that was comical. <laughs> he opens the door. <laughs> Kathy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not a, there's not a toilet in there, it's just a microwave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gordon made him mad. He really did. I love the floor. It's okay though. Kathy doesn't care. She's gonna use it for her next meal. <laughs> oh, she did some jittering there. She's dancing the jitterbug. See, here we go again. in her radiation language again. <laughs> Yeah, mar oh. yeah, margarine. Yeah, That's great. More plastic. Some seasoned salt. Oh, there's Gordon's puke. She just dried it. Never mind. I just found out what happened to Gordon. Oh, never mind. That's Gordon's shit. <laughs> she scooped that out of his pants. Since there's, since there's no toilet in your bathroom. Oh, that's Is that what you call it? The direct from something. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> and you're serving it? <laughs> now, finish up our potatoes. I think our seasonings are ready over here. She has to advertise on her apron. <laughs> I want her to bring Kaffer in too. I don't normally get pissed. <laughs> but using a microwave to cook, you've gone too far. <laughs> I would just love it because he'd start pointing his finger at her. That's what it takes to and then Hulk Hogan would come over and point his finger at him, too. Yeah, yeah, but he would just steal the whole entire show. He would somehow shove Taffer out of the way. That's how he is. And then Taffer would get really, but Taffer would get really pissed off. And then advertises virtual training. $99 a month. Wow. Smells so great. Oh my god. I can't think of any other way that you can cook three meats all at the same time. I do! Use the oven. I do it all the time. I put the pork chops on the pan, the chicken in the oven, and then the other thing, a chicken in the presto oven. That's three meats and that's three different devices. And they all work. Now, let's take a look at our side dish. Oh, look at those potatoes. 
and her grapes. Yeah, and all at the same time. And remember, these are low calorie and low fat. They're margarine. You can't that if you don't want to. This is a great dinner for three. I hope Just they like eating plastic. Minutes. And that's because those meats were all frozen when Great I started. Great dinner for three or for products. just Kathy. <laughs> Probably all for Kathy. Doesn't that look great? Now there's a meal that'll keep everybody happy. Really? Well, Kathy, I was just happy seeing the microgrids. <laughs> oh, this little piggy just popped right out of his blanket. Oh, oh, Kathy. These are so <laughs> great. Just a little brown Let me guess, when you were a kid, you actually thought that there were pigs that were wrapped in blankets. I did. <laughs> I'm sure that's a true story. I don't even think that was even meant to be a joke. Oh, this is why the omelet is not perfect, because it doesn't use the micro crisps. <laughs> yes. That's why... Oh, you should have used the micro crisps. This is going to make me cry. <laughs> well, good. I'll cheer you up with the cookbook. No, the only thing that cheers me up is a fresh, a freshly torn piece of my maker. The grand finale. Oh, yes. I hope she doesn't use the micro crisps. Let me need Zoloft. <laughs> I'm just going to start with some biscuit mix. I need the lipitor. <laughs> now, once it's lost its stickiness, you want to just kind of pat it out into a little rectangle. Does that look like a rectangle to you? It's a rhombus. It looks like the shape of Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> now what we have to do is wrap it in the microcrisp. Yay! Three minutes. Now remember, we're using a... Uh, Oh, this, see, that is the most beautiful sound in the world. <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> oh, I did. And I'm already having an anxiety attack. It's such a hassle to you. Oh, no, she has to measure it, Ryan. <laughs> oh, no, she no, no, she's a Oh, look at it. It's going to oh, it's overlap. It's overlap. She is a magician. <laughs> Oh, I, it's very tasty. Okay, so we have to guess the price of the micro crisp. Fifteen dollars, and I'm saying nineteen ninety-two. My friend Harvey introduced me to these knives. And oh, oh here she's we go. Sell her knives. knives. Yeah. Stay tuned while Wayne tells you about the miracle blade. Wayne. Well, miracle blade one. You saw me cut the. Oh wow. Oh. Never seen before. Boy, oh. I thought I thought the bullshit was done, but oh, there's more. I cannot wait. He almost got his uh, his hand there. I wish he did. She is not a view. No, she's not. She's because 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 that was her brick. <laughs> That's not nice. You're destroying her kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't care if you out there. Yeah, he doesn't care. Tree, frozen food, every time he broke Bob Vila's hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, it's not like he uses it anyway. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a Cousin Arnold copy. Yeah. Bless her stingy little heart. She's going to starve him to death with this knife. Look, you slice tomatoes any thinner than this, I think they'd only have one side. That takes a you stole that. Wow. It's really bad to be stealing jokes from Cousin Buttfuck. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Go back to the micro bridge. No, this is very important. Order now. The knives are too violent. 1993. Oh. See, I had to be very aggressive with the date. Because that looks to me like 88. In great pieces of literature, poetry has been written of the great beauties of life. But for me, true beauty and joy comes from the microcrisp. <laughs>
I, I think it was a treat because it was an unexpected thing we found. She just happened to pop up. <laughs> she pops up after a Popeil thing. I'm going to guess it's, it's $8. I would not be surprised if it's more. Or maybe it didn't even make it out on the market. It's currently unavailable. Oh, that's Amazon. a shocker. Why are people using it for toilet paper? Matthew on Amazon says, Came as advertised, except I got the rolls included, which I was happy about. Yeah, I'd be happy too, Matthew. <laughs> but even though the listing said no. So he's just complaining about the condition. Tango says, A great product. Five stars. I use bad. this product all the time. A warning, however. <laughs> the little legs can be broken fairly easily. I could have told them that for free. When this happens, any food product that becomes runny when heated can spill off your plate and make a mess in your microwave. That's why I ended up buying another one. One little broken leg. Well, that's what happens. I think something is plastic. Donna, the book lover, Oh, God, says, so she must have got the cookbook. <laughs> Not as advertised, one star. First, let me say that we own one of the original Micro Crisp racks, and we love it, which is why we were excited to find these sold on Amazon. The three racks that we ordered arrived Monday, October 28th, oh, 2013. I'm glad she told us. I chose standard shipping. So this was a reasonable wait. Did she actually say that? Yeah. What a moron. Who cares? We... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we paid more for the shipping and handling than we did for the three racks as this company charges <laughs> shipping per item. I'm going to make a home cooked meal. <laughs> With the micro crisp. <laughs> Did she actually say most of that? <laughs> most of it, yeah. The standard shipping? And she did. She actually, wait, did she actually bitch about the, they tell you how much the shipping costs. Did she not read? She can't read. <sighs> well, as much as I dump on Kathy, I think I'm going to dump on that person a lot more. Donna the book lover? What a moron. If she's a book lover, maybe she should read. There is a section that says how much shipping costs. That's her fault. Excuse me. <laughs> Since the racks are not easily found now, we decided the high cost of shipping would be worth it. That's the three terrible. boxes say <laughs> micro crisp as the picture shows. They were also resealed with tape, which makes it look like these were returns. The racks were advertised as new. Wow. We were excited. We thought, wow, someone had these in their warehouse, and we will be getting the real thing. The original Micro Crisp rack is a circle with the name <laughs> Micro Crisp made of the same material as the rest <laughs> of the rack. Wow, Donna. <laughs> You're that excited over a microwave item? <laughs> oh, boy, Donna. I think I think you weighed 300 pounds. <laughs> well, she, she has a BMI of 60. <laughs> wow. That's almost as much as somebody. Actually, that's more than somebody I know. <laughs> yes, I know somebody with 55 <laughs> BMI. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, the racks. Wow, there's more from Placenta Lady. <laughs> the racks we received seem to be heat resistant microwave racks, but not by Microcrisp. All three are rounded off squares. Wow. And do not say Microcrisp. She must be an expert. The browning paper, that's my favorite part. <laughs> they came with them was thrown in the garbage as the boxes were all open. One of the Micro Crisp boxes had spots of mildew on the inside and had to be disposed of immediately. <laughs> Do you really think it's going to matter? <laughs> you put it in the microwave, the radiation's going to kill the mildew. 
I'm sure Kathy cooks with mildew. Yeah, I'm sure she throws mold too. <laughs> black bl black mold as well. Mm -hmm. Also, <laughs> well, one of more. the racks had gray marks on it that looked like someone had tried the brown paper, didn't like it, and returned it. <laughs> My question is, who wouldn't like this product? <laughs> It's impossible. <laughs> Everyone loves the microgrid. <laughs> oh, yes. You might be wondering why we didn't send these back. Oh, I was just about to ask. We figured that a seller who charged more for shipping than the price of the used product they labeled new. You chose that would, seller! Excuse me! <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm interrupting you, random shit. Would be <laughs> <laughs> to be great about return. <laughs> this is such a bad gripe. This bookworm person really is a piece of shit. Bookworm, and you're not even reading the shipping. You can pick your seller. You're going to add cart. Oh, it should be 12 bucks. I'll pick that one. Oh, look, that shipping there is $1.99. But I'll pick the more expensive shipping. That makes sense. That's the way to start. Just go to the add to cart. Oh, she has... Yeah, she's, she's got to be Polish. Excuse me. Oh, you're not excused. You are a... You are a... Dumb bitch. Ah, we figured that a seller who charged more for shipping than the price of the used product that they labeled new would not be likely to be great about returns. At least we have three racks that are usable, even though not by Microcrisp. We thought that better than sending them back and not having racks or the money. <laughs> That was a very unimportant statement that she just, she just pretty much admitted she's a moron. She's a nasty moron. <laughs> she is. Oh, uh, here's Norma. Uh, she gives it five stars and she says, just follow the directions. I think this product is great. I bought this many years ago and somehow it got hidden in the back of my cabinet. <laughs> I was doing some reorganizing and I found it, so I now just baked a potato and it was like the ones you get out of the restaurant. I hope this continues to be available because I will be using this often. Well, it's that, not. That's ridiculous because most restaurants use microwaves. So obviously, of course, it's going to taste the same as a restaurant. Where does she go? Applebee's? Probably. One of those crappy restaurants. And it's currently unavailable. They don't make it this stuff anymore. Oh, I wonder why. It was a wonderful product. I found a... Article from 1994, the Chicago Tribune. It says it sells for about 19.95. Holy shit! Okay, and that was back then. Yeah, it can be found at Venture, Kmart, Walmart, and Target. Wow, that's more than I thought. Well, Kathy keeps appearing on BG Bus. Oh, she, she likes had, to drop in from time to time. That was an unexpected drop in. That was she wasn't even invited. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, if you've used the Micro Crisp, of course, comment. Oh, please do, because I really want to know if you use the Micro Crisp.